Hi, this is Michael Green with the Living in Bozeman channel. Today I'm gonna to talk about my personal favorites in Bozeman. So if you're traveling to Bozeman and Big Sky, you need to watch this video, so stay tuned. So if you're thinking about moving to Bozeman, we absolutely love helping people out that are moving to the area, telling them all about what kinds of housing are available, etc. So give me a call, shoot me a text message, send me an email, seven days a week, I got your back if you're moving to Bozeman and Big Sky, Montana. So if you love the content we're creating, click that thumbs up button. Also click the subscribe button. And then when the little bell notification comes up, click that so that you're notified every time we post a new video. All right, so you're gonna visit Bozeman, Montana. You're gonna need a place to stay and you're gonna need a car to drive. So I'm gonna go over places to stay, rental car places. Uh, my personal favorite, if you're coming to Bozeman, is to stay on the Main Street area. This is an area where you know, you've got all the restaurants, you've got all the activities. It's really good to experience Bozeman to stay on Main Street. And I've had everybody that I've recommended that to has appreciated that experience of getting to know that. Because there are a lot of hotels on the outside you just don't get in the hub of everything. Now, choosing a hotel on Main Street isn't too hard. Um, if you're real fancy and you want something really nice and expensive, that's Armory. Uh, they've got a pool looking out over the bridgers. They've got another deck with fire pits looking out over the sunset. It is very nice. It's worth the money, but it is very expensive and it does fill up. So if you're looking between May and August, you definitely need to get your reservations early for a hotel because they will be full. Now downtown, they've got a new AC hotel and they've got an Element. Those are also extremely nice hotels. And the local favorite is a Lark. It does fill up very quickly, but it's a, a really cool, trendy hotel right on Main Street. A lot of people love it. I've sent them there. They really like that one. Outside of Main Street, you've got the Lewis and Clark, which is just right outside of Main Street. And then of course, my recommendation off Main Street Hotel is Country Inn and Suites. Uh, the price is great, location's great, service is great. You've got a back deck that looks out over the Bridger Mountains. You've got a little fire pit area there. So those are the hotels that I recommend uh, in Bozeman if you're staying here. Now the other place is that, um, is also a really nice place to stay. It's really outside of town, so if all that's full, you could go over to Three Forks and there's a Sacagawea Hotel that is also like a historic hotel. They've got a great restaurant there, live music, etc. A lot of people don't think of that, but uh, if you want to go outside and, and just go a little bit, maybe 30, 40 minutes out of town, um, check out the Sacagawea Hotel. Love eating there. The restaurant's fine dining. Uh, they do have a, a side that's not, but they do have extremely good food there at the Sacagawea, and the hotel is very nice and historical. Now, rental car. Um, if you're looking for a rental car, in the winter time, it's pretty easy to find one. However, the problem is that you're gonna need a four x four and snow tires. So a lot of the places, rental car places, don't offer that. Uh, they're not really gonna tell you about that because obviously you just click the little thing when you're making the hotel or the, the flight reservation and you just get your rental car, that's not a good idea in Bozeman. I recommend Turo. It's an app you can get on your phone and you download it and basically you're renting a car from somebody local. You can request snow tires, four by four. And in the winter time, you really have to have these, especially if you're gonna be going skiing um, or driving outside of town. If you don't have a four by four snow tires, you could definitely get stuck. In fact, I had one of my clients uh, that did not have snow tires, it got stuck. Uh, out looking at some property and so you know it can happen they had to get it towed back had to go pick them up and that kind of thing but the reality is it can happen so you definitely want to be careful and get snow tires now in the summertime it's pretty easy um, you know to drive here there's no issues or anything like that so you can pretty much get any kind of rental car between May and uh, August however they do fill up and I have had um, people tell me that they had to pay $600 for a car for a day and so you definitely don't want to do that. So you want to get it in advance. Go to Turo. Toyota, uh, the, the dealership here, does rent cars. And they do fill up, but they rent 4 by 4s So now even in May to August, if you're coming here and you're going to want to look at some land, you're definitely going to want a 4 by 4 still because you know, you've got snow melting. Uh, the ground is pretty soft in a lot of areas. So you, if you're going out to just you know look at some remote property, you do want to have a 4x4. Four four. And Toyota does rent those. 4x4s. There is a finish line uh, car sales that's now 
opened up, and a great car sales uh, company, by the way, but they've opened up a rental car division. So Finish Line Rental Cars is also a really great place. It's right near the airport, so it's very convenient, and they have great 4x4s, etc. I highly recommend uh, Finish Line uh, Rentals. And then, of course, there's Journey Rental Cars or some other ones around. But those are my favorites and places that I would highly recommend. So if you're thinking about coming to Bozeman to visit, you're thinking about maybe moving here, in this video today, I'm gonna to give all my personal favorites of things that you need to try out when you either move here or visit here. So one of the first things that you need to definitely know about Bozeman, Montana, is that we are really right near all of the hiking and all the adventure things, everything from hiking, mountain biking, uh, fishing, rock climbing, all that kind of stuff is right near the downtown area. And so you can go to hiking in like 10 minutes right out of town. The number one hike that I recommend that you try is the M Trail. That is right outside of town. It's the M College Trail. You can easily find it on the map. But I would say that's no, the number one hiking trail I recommend. There's also another little one to the right on the right side there by the fishery. That's actually the Drinking Horse Trail. It's a little bit easier. It's also nice, but not as great views. A lot of people like to try that one out, both of those. And then of course, you gotta go to Highlight. So what you do is you look up the Highlight Reservoir, go to the Highlight Reservoir. There's a lake there. When you get down to the reservoir, there's a parking area. And there are a lot of trailheads from right there. There's a Crystal Lake Trailhead and a number of other really good trails. So those are the three hikes that I highly recommend that you try when you come to Bozeman. Because if you come to Bozeman and you don't hike, of course you can't really do that in the wintertime, but uh, outside of the wintertime, if you come to Bozeman and you don't hike, then you really haven't been to Bozeman. All right, so if you're coming to Bozeman, one of the things you're definitely gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go around the different areas and drive and see what kind of housing there is. Bozeman's a pretty small area. We've got Bozeman and Belgrade. Belgrade is to the north of the interstate. Bozeman is to the south of the interstate and a little bit to the northeast of the interstate. So you've got a, an area that you can drive that you can go uh, from the south Bozeman area, north Bozeman area, west Bozeman, all the way to Four Corners. You can go around the Main Street area, but I'm gonna give you what I consider like sort of the best track uh, that you could follow. So you wanna start at the Main Street area and go north a little bit. You'll see a lot of new construction, a lot of new construction condos all the way up to like the fairgrounds. So when you hit the fairgrounds, turn back around, cross over Main Street. One of the best streets to cross over on is Wilson. So Wilson is one of the most popular, one of the most beautiful roads, the story mansions on Main Street, uh, on Wilson actually. So just keep going down Wilson until you hit Kagey and then take a right. And that'll take you to the Montana State University. You'll see the field on the left. Take a right there. Uh, right after the field and that'll take you through the university and through that area around Main Street. You'll hit Main Street again, then take a left on Main Street and that'll take you over to 19th Street. So what you want to do at that point is when you hit 19th, take a left and that's going to take you to South Bozeman, the Highlight Canyon area. As you're traveling that way south, you're going to see in front of you the Custer Gallatin Forest and that's all a beautiful area to drive through and see what kind of housing is there. Keep following 19th around. The Highlight Reservoir uh, will be on the left-hand side. You can go up into the forest that way or just keep going to the west and that'll take you over to the Gallatin area, you know, where you've got Gallatin Gateway, that's Bozeman Four Corners area, and that's the way to get to Big Sky. So when you get all the way over there, take a right on Jackrabbit, that'll take you back up to Four Corners. And so when you get into Four Corners, you'll see a lot of, um, you know, restaurants and, and gas stations and things of that nature. And then you just keep continuing to the north on Jackrabbit, and then you'll take a right on Baxter. And notice on the left-hand side, there are a couple neighborhoods there, but on the right, you take a right on Baxter, that'll take you straight into West Bozeman, which is the most popular area for people right now moving to Bozeman. You'll see like Black Bull, uh, White Horse Ranch, a lot of other neighborhoods there. And then you'll see some houses on land. You know, those are fairly expensive, but you definitely will get through a lot of sort of the countryside. You'll see the Bridger Range over on the left-hand side. And then you'll come into West Bozeman and you'll see the density increases in that area. So you have condos, townhomes, a lot of homes in there. Flanders Mill, definitely drive through there. That's the number one neighborhood in Bozeman. The Gowden Regional Park is there. And so you want to go there. All the schools are right in that area. And that'll actually 
see is you just keep going on that road, that'll take you back to 19th and you'll see all the shopping and the restaurants and things like that. So to me, that would be a really good circle for you to take if you're coming to Bozeman and you wanna see what kind of housing is here. And that'll be a great trip for you. You'll see lots of uh, the different style of housing in Bozeman and it really is a small area. So you could do that trip in about an hour and a half to two hours, I would think, maybe stopping at different neighborhoods. So hope you enjoy that. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. I'm going to give you a special bonus for watching the entire video. So stay tuned at the end of the video. I'll explain how you can get a map that'll tell you how to get to all these locations on your phone and navigate. Also how to get one night free hotel room. So if you're coming to Bozeman, you also want to check out the fitness options here. If you're that kind of a person, you want to do some fitness activities. I highly recommend the Ridge on Fallon. That's right off Huffheim by the Sidewinders restaurant. Go in there, just tell them Mike Green sent you there. You can buy a one day pass. They've got eucalyptus steam rooms, sauna, pools, all kinds of fitness there. They've got a basketball area. They've got racquetball. They've got an indoor jogging track. So you'll love the ridge. The other places, if you're into climbing, you've got the Spire Climbing Gym. This is a huge climbing gym and a lot of people really love that. So if you're into uh, climbing, you wanna check out the Spire Climbing Gym. And they do have an Orange Theory in town. So they've got an Orange Theory here now. That's also a great place. You do have to have a monthly membership. Uh, they do allow one class for free to check it out, but um, that's really it. And you do need to call in advance and be there 30 minutes. And that's like a high intensity workout. Um, and the fact that there is one in Bozeman, along with also Whole Foods that's opening up next month, um, it shows that Bozeman is really on the up and up because we've got a lot of great fitness options if you're a fitness person in Bozeman. So if you're visiting Bozeman, you're gonna wanna know about all the great food options, how to find the food. I'm gonna give you a, a quick rundown of where the restaurants are, and then I'm gonna go into my personal favorites. But let me start out and say, if you want something to eat quickly, you wanna head on to 19th because that's a lot of the quick food restaurants and the places that you can park and get out and go into that there won't be a lot of weight in. Uh, so stick with 19th. Uh, because that's where a lot of those restaurants, because the restaurants on Main Street, you know, you've got to find parking, you've got to park in the parking garage, it's a little bit more of a headache. So I definitely recommend, if you don't remember anything from this video, definitely remember 19th, that's the way to get to the, to the food. From the interstate all the way over to Main Street on 19th, you'll find tons of food options, you know, on 19th. So let's go ahead and talk about the other food choices and my favorite food choices in Bozeman, I like Red Tractor Pizza, right? This is like a farm, the pizza restaurant. It's a hometown restaurant, uh, pizza restaurant. And you're gonna love it. They've got live music a couple nights a week there. And it's just one of those places, if you're into pizza and you go to new towns and you wanna try out you know, different pizza places, don't come here without trying out Red Tractor Pizza. It's my absolute favorite. They've got the Bill Murray Pizza. They've got all the local beers there. Don't come to Bozeman and not try Jam on Main. This is the absolute best breakfast restaurant. There is Western Cafe. There's an IHOP on 19th. It's great, but you wanna definitely try Jam on Main. There's usually a wait unless you get there early. You can go across the street for the coffee shop while you're waiting, but Jam on Main is my absolute favorite. They've got pancake flights. They got Benedict flights. It's just a cool atmosphere. The service is good. The wait is long, but the wait for the food is not. The food is very high quality and is delivered quickly, and you're gonna love Jam on Main. But if you're into more healthier options, vegetarian, stuff like that, you're gonna wanna try out the clean juice over off 19th. It's brand new, they've got all organic, fresh pressed juices, salads, wraps, acai bowls, all that kind of good stuff, and that's clean juice right over on 19th. The other place is pharmacy. It's a giant salad bar. You can pick your toppings, etc. That's going towards the Bozeman Hot Springs on the left-hand side, and that is called the pharmacy, spelled F-A-R-M-A-C-Y, and that is a really wonderful place. Highly recommend that. Now, if you're downtown, you've got to try Five on Black. This is one of the places where they have the proteins made and they give you the sauces, etc. And there's a pita pit next to it, which also has some very healthy food. So those are your healthy food choices in Bozeman. Clean juice, pharmacy, five on black, and of course the pita pit. So check those out. If you're looking at different places in Bozeman that you want to go to, sort of like a destination restaurant, I definitely recommend the Armory Hotel. Now the Armory Hotel is a great hotel. It's usually very expensive, very full. Uh, Country Inn and Suites, the Lark, uh, you know, Lewis and Clark. Some of those are some better options that are better priced, but the Army is a really cool, Armory is a really cool place to visit. 
Uh, you go up to the top deck, they've got like appetizers, um, you can get drinks. They've got a huge deck out there with a fire pit. It looks out to the um, west area. You can see all over, you know, Bozeman there. You can see the western mountains towards Big Sky. And then you can go around the back side and you can look out over the Bridger Mountains. I love this to go there at sunset and check out, you know, the Armory Upper Deck. You're gonna enjoy that. And that's right downtown, so it's very easy to find. So some other steak places here that you're gonna to wanna to check out. You've got the open range down on Main Street that's really good. Uh, you've got Ted's, which is like our iconic, you know, original steak restaurant. Uh, by the way, open range, you will need reservations, but not at Ted's. Um, up, up by, over by uh, the open range, there's a place called the Brigade, which we love. And you do have to have reservations there. That's like a French fusion style restaurant. And you've got Montana Rib and Chop over off 19th, so that's sort of out of the area of Main Street, but that's also a great steak restaurant that's here. Dave's Sushi is a local favorite. A lot of people are like, you know, seafood in Bozeman. Um, there's not a lot of seafood places, frankly, here uh, in Bozeman, but Dave's Sushi is fabulous. It's a local favorite. It's near Main Street. Uh, you definitely want to prepare for a wait because it is usually full, but Dave's Sushi is definitely a place you want to check out. All right, so one of the really cool places here in Bozeman that just opened up, it's called the Bourbon and Barbecue. It's in Midtown, right by the Clean Juice off 7th Avenue. And it's like a really upscale, trendy type of barbecue place. I'd say it's sort of like a Texas barbecue. And you've got some really cool entrees like the salad. They've got like a seared romaine Caesar salad. I've never seen anything like it. The entire, you know, head of Caesar, uh, of romaine there. It's very cool. But definitely check out Bourbon and Barbecue here in Bozeman. Map Brewing, the back deck, is absolutely spectacular. So in the spring, in the summer, in the fall, you go over to Map Brewing and it is a long wait. So you just need to know that going into it, that it's gonna be a long wait at Map Brewing. But they do make their own beer there. Um, I love the back deck because you can look out over the lake, you can look out over the Bridger Mountains. Um, there's actually a little bit of beach area on that lake over there. But Map Brewing back deck is definitely a must do if you come to Bozeman. So one of the other restaurants you're definitely gonna wanna try if you're a fan of Guy Fieri's Diners, drive throughs and Dives, we've got Sidewinders right here in Bozeman. It's a great place, they've got a deck if it's in the summertime, they've got a deck that looks out over West Bozeman. You can see all the mountain peaks and everything, so it's really cool to sit on the back deck. But they've got an amazing French onion soup and so Sidewinders is right off Huffine as you're going towards the Bozeman Hot Springs on the right-hand side. And it is always a long way. I mean, every time you get there, it's a long way. So definitely get there early. Um, there's like a little market area where they've got like an alpaca shop where the alpaca are locally raised. They've got all the alpaca uh, wool products right there. So check that out. There is a Tanglewood Bar Grill that's amazing. That's right there too, next to the market. Um, so if you get to Sidewinders, it's just way too long. Go and see what it's like in Tanglewood because that's a real high-end fine dining restaurant. Just had dinner there last week and absolutely love Tanglewood also. And then Revelry. This is my, you know, one of my absolute local favorites. It's a gym. It's a small little restaurant downtown. Um, it's right off of Main Street and look it up. It's called the Revelry. Very cool, uh, you know, environment. Great staff there and the food is absolutely wonderful. So try those three out also. If you're coming to Bozeman, you probably wanna try out some dessert places. We've got our local ice cream places here, Sweet Peaks and Genuine. Now Genuine, they actually got a brand now that's getting into the grocery stores. Genuine's really good, it's right there on Main Street. So is uh, Sweet Peaks, that's right there at 7th Avenue. Uh, my personal favorite is Genuine, but I do like Sweet Peaks also. And they've got a lot of coffee shops here. So if you're looking for like a sweet treat at the different coffee shops, we've got all kinds of different coffee shops here where they have their own roasting. You wanna try like cold smoke. And a lot of these places have desserts in them that they make uh, or are made locally. So you've got the cold smoke, um, you've got the Wild Joes, you've got Ghost Town, you've got Tree Line, you've got the Daily, you've got of course City Brew over off 19th. So these are some other really cool places that you can get dessert. They do have a crumble cookie that has just opened up here. It's like a franchise where they got all these different fancy cookies uh, that you can get and they have them around the, the country. But when one opened here, it's right near where the new Whole Foods is going uh, by the Orange Siri. Uh, that is definitely a really cool place to check out the, uh, the crumble cookie place too. 
So if you're coming to Bozeman, there's two other really great things that you're gonna to wanna to try out. They definitely have a lot of, you can go with Madison River tubing. Uh, they've got a lot of river activities where you can you know, ride the tubes down the river. That's a great day trip in the spring and summer. It's better in the summer because the water's a little cold in the spring. We definitely wanna try out Madison River tubing. Uh, the other thing is that you wanna try out mountain biking. There's a lot of places in town that you can rent mountain bikes and our mountain bike trails are right outside of town. In fact, a lot of you know well-known uh, com competition mountain bikers have moved to Bozeman because it's one of those areas we've got Big Sky for the downhill and we've got all the um, great mountain biking around the town. It's really easy to reach because a lot of people love Bozeman that are mountain bikers because you can get to the mountain bike trails really quickly. Whereas a lot of places that you live, you know, you gotta drive maybe 45 minutes or an hour to get to a good mountain biking trail. And so there are all kinds of great mountain biking trails. So definitely wanna try out river tubing and mountain biking here in Bozeman when you're visiting. So if you're visiting in the winter, you're gonna to wanna to go to Bridger Bowl or Big Sky. My personal favorite where I have a pass is at Big Sky because that's how I discovered, you know, Bozeman is really through Big Sky. It's an amazing place, about 6,000 acres of skiable terrain. And you've got lifts there that are heated and covered. It's fabulous. In fact, I'm going over there now to get skiing in a few minutes. Uh, Bridger Bowl is like your local hill, a little bit over 2,000 uh, acres of skiable terrain. Also very nice, only 20 some odd minutes out of town. So those are your two ski resorts. Bozeman really is sort of a ski town. You know, a lot of people consider it that because we've got two ski resorts nearby. And so a lot of people are saying that really Bozeman's like your next Jackson Hole, Telluride, Lake Tahoe. A lot of people are actually moving from Vail and Aspen and those areas here because we really don't have the lines and the traffic to get to skiing and the people. So it is a really popular option. So if you're here in the winter, you definitely want to try out skiing. You can rent skis very easily. You can rent them in town in Bozeman. Uh, there are also some gear places you can rent out. They're a little bit more expensive in Big Sky. So I do recommend renting here in Bozeman first if you're gonna ski while you're here in Bozeman. So another thing that you're gonna definitely wanna try when you come to Bozeman is the Bozeman Hot Springs. I've got a whole video on it, but it's an amazing place. They've got pools on Thursday and Sunday, they have live music, okay? So those are great nights to go. And remember, they are closed on Friday night, so don't plan to go there on Friday night. But they do have outdoor pools, indoor pools, they have a steam room. One of the things I love to do there is to go out to the pool outside. They've got fire rings all the way around, the pools are colored. It's really cool to go there when it's cold and it's smoking. But you go out there, you go out there maybe 10 or 20 minutes, sit in the hot, you know, water. Now this is mineral hot springs, so this is really volcanic water. So it's great for your skin, great for your body and your health. Then go into the cold plunge. They've got a 50 degree pool in there. So you go in there, maybe sit for two to three minutes of the cold plunge, and then go back out, and then you alternate back and forth between those things. That's really one of my favorite things to do. But the Bozeman Hot Springs is awesome. You gotta try it out. They do have an RV park and, uh, and a little campground there too. So if you've got an RV, they're usually full, but their prices are extremely reasonable for Bozeman. So if you have an RV or you wanna camp in one of their cabins or something, definitely try the Bozeman Hot Springs out for lodging also. So if you've got kiddos that need to work out some energy, you're gonna to wanna to try Jump Time Bozeman that's over in Four Corners. And it's one of these places where they've got all the trampoline places, um, you know, trampoline like, you know, they've got the, the place, the ninja area, they've got the little kids area, they've got this deal where you jump off into the, the foam and everything like that. They've got the dodgeball trampolines. Jump Time Bozeman's really cool. You can have birthday parties there, etc. That's a really neat place over in Four Corners. So you can go there either before or after the hot springs. Um, maybe after the hot springs, after you're all warmed up and everything like that, I don't know. But definitely try Jump Time Bozeman. You'll love that if you've got kids. So if you're thinking about moving to Bozeman, we absolutely love helping people out that are moving to the area, telling them all about what kinds of housing are available, etc. So give me a call, shoot me a text message, send me an email. Seven days a week, I got your back if you're moving to Bozeman and Big Sky, Montana. If you love the content we're creating, click that thumbs up button. Also click the subscribe button. And then when the little bell notification comes up, click that so that you're notified every time we post a new video. All right, so I'm gonna tell you how to get the bonuses I was talking about in the first part of the video, the interactive map and the free hotel night. So the first one is the interactive map. Go to www.montanalastbestplace.com. So www.montanalastbestplace.com. Look at the blogs and you'll see a link there to the interactive map. The other thing is, 
If you work with me to find a house here in Bozeman, then I refund for you at closing one night of your hotel room stay. So you can stay at any hotel you want, it doesn't matter the price, but when you close on your house, I'll refund you one night hotel room stay. So we look forward to seeing you in Bozeman and hope that you get these bonuses.